everybody! Today, I was going to play Don't, Don't Starve, starting in Don't Starve, but unfortunately, everybody has gone to bed, so I can't really be screaming and raging at the computer screen this late at night. So instead, I thought I'd start a nice, relaxing platformer game. Hopefully, it'll be relaxing anyway. I saw this originally on uh, Shin's Let's Play, Shin of the Yacht Chess yes, Let's Play, and it looked really interesting. It looks like it has a really warm and nice story that will be great right before I go to bed. And then tomorrow I'll see about getting some Don't Starve and something else in there. But for now, let's play Thomas Was Alone. Thomas was alone. Well, a weird first thought to have. That's right. <clears throat> Here I am. I'm an amazing little blob. Ah, oh, yeah. What well, a fantastic and red, and all I need is an afro. So, to do this game, basically all you have to do is get to these doors, but of course it becomes increasingly difficult. There's this narrator throughout the entire thing who tells you what to feel Thomas and what decided to decided to start listing his observations for posterity. That's right, I did. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Oh, show. I don't want to. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted oh. fall? Some <laughs> way to. What's the word? Jump. Smarter than the game. I figured it out. Yeah. It worked. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. That's right. MLG. So you're like part of a, a video game or something in a this. A big jump. Was... But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. <laughs> yeah, got it. First try. This hey. all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. No. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh, no. I want that. He was that. starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Nah. Paranoia. I know how you feel, Thomas. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I died. I want that piece. That bit piece thing. I don't know what it's for, this but I want it. This all seemed <gasps> a little dangerous. No. The world was not to be trusted. I feel like this if I land directly on it, a little it, dangerous. It. Give me it. The world uh. was not to be trusted. <laughs> it was I got a chief. I got a steam chief. Oh, it's gone. I did get this it. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. Okay, let's go. Unstable, go, 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 go. And it go, seemed go, to go, Thomas go. that it could let him down oh. at any moment. Ah, ah, ah. He was starting to suspect nah. it might even be doing so on purpose. Nah. Paranoia. On purpose? That's nonsense. Look at the shadows in this game. A lot of these platformer indies really do a good job with lighting. Staircases. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. 
he seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Maybe. So I'm getting there's a lot of talking and then I'll pick up a bit. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. Not my skills. It had been designed oh. just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. <clears throat> Oh, they're shiny things. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. It's the same way about water. He made another mental note. Four, water. Not good to be avoided. Red blacks notoriously cannot swim. No, I went in. Boy, the loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. You see these moves? I'm the most pro-black ever! Yeah! It's all those years of Sonic CD. Get over there! Oh, I barely missed it. has nice old school uh, tight controls too. It's pretty cool. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. Is it? He could feel oh. himself getting smarter. Every time. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. I can jump! I can... Wow. <clears throat> pew! Pew! No! Let me up! Are those blocks in the back? Wait a minute, are those blocks? Give me those blocks. No, they're just the background. Okay. Up! 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 No! No! There we go. <laughs> Got another chief. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I was told that the... That idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to be... Chris oh. took an immediate and deep dislike A to friend. the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? L R button. Scroll between characters. Okay. So I need to bring you. Uh, you go over there. You go here. Because Chris is short. Yay! Teamwork. Where's my house? Oh. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. That's right. Well, not actually. Oh. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word. What? But, you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. <sighs> that Thomas, how dare he. No. No. Crash Bandicoot suffers so many years, I feel like I have to do it 90 miles an hour and I'm making mistakes! Ah, oh, yeah, see, uh, pushed, pushed me. The sun was in my eyes. Up, and up, up, up. There we go. Cute. Too. I love the sound effects too, it's 
so retro. Okay, stand there. And you go up here. <laughs> so as the game predicts, progresses, there gets to be more and more characters, and it gets more and more complicated to shuffle okay. the characters around. This was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Let's find out. Bam. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Get down here, Thomas. This is gonna take a while. Oh. No. You gotta go in there. Uh, uh, get off. Up. Oh. Up. 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 Get off. Oh no. Switch. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Oh. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Uh, uh. It's down here. I really like this game. It's very... Uh, it's really quite a beautiful game. I'm not sure if I can reach that. It's very simplistic. Uh, which a lot of games lack nowadays. They try to overcomplicate things, and really all you need is just a little bit of a puzzle, and a little bit of action, and you got a good game. It doesn't need to be. How many? Oh, I have to jump across. Of course. Oh no. Oh no. Not to get Thomas over here. Stupid red dork. Okay, platforming. Oh no, I'm already messing up. What? No, no, no! Come on! Oh my Crash Bandicoot training! Ah! Oh, yes! Oh no! Oh, no! Oh. This time, this is the last time. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. Jump the gun there. Go! Didn't even jump. I feel like he's a little bit easier to jump with, actually, because he does have a little bit more throw to his jump. Whereas you have to be a lot tighter with Chris. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so oh. very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave. Fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Oh no, don't say that. That would be terrible. How do I get across there? It's Chris. Hmm. Oh no, you wouldn't do that to me. Okay. Uh, uh, yep. And over. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. Go. Cool. Time.
climbing skills. Yes. Go. Oh, now how do I get Chris over there? Oh, he could make it. Okay. Uh. Blah, blah. Jump. Well, that was much simpler. Ah. <gasps> A new person. John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Game day. 